Hello, and welcome to the boss guide for Hackclaw's Warband, the first boss of Brackenhide Hollow. This is a council type boss and is probably one of the most mechanically complex encounters of the season. Let's get into it. There are three bosses, Rira Hackclaw, who uses warrior type abilities, Gashtooth, who uses rogue type abilities, and Trick Totem, the caster. Although the bosses enrage when one of them drops below 15%, it is crucial that you focus down Gashtooth first, as both of his abilities are incredibly dangerous. Let's start there. Gashtooth will cast Gash Frenzy at the start of every phase. He will jump to all five party members with a painful physical strike, and then apply a Grievous type bleed on them. The only way to remove this bleed is by returning to full health, so healers be prepared for this with a cooldown. If it looks like the healer is struggling, make sure you use your health pot or health stones to top yourself off. Gashtooth will then use Marked for Butchery, and fixate a target, inflicting rapid and heavy physical damage on them for 4 seconds. It's vital that the person fixated use a defensive cooldown, or even an immunity if possible, and they receive help from the tank or the healer. Gashtooth's special ability is Decayed Senses, which will blind the tank. He uses this in concert with Trick Totem Special, which we'll talk about later. Use Bloodlust on pole and nuke down Gashtooth as quickly as possible, as his two abilities deal the bulk of damage on this fight and also cause a lot of chaos. Rira Hackclaw uses two abilities. She will cast Bladestorm and fixate a player, and anybody caught by the Bladestorm will take a lot of damage. The Bladestorm happens three times in a row, and can fixate the same player twice, so be ready to kite the boss around. Rira also uses Savage Charge, which targets a non-tank player. When the cast for Savage Charge, which is 14 seconds, is finished, she will then charge that player and deal massive physical damage to the first target struck. The most common way to deal with this ability is to have the tank soak the charge by standing in between the targeted player and the boss. You may also choose to use immunities or blessing of protection to survive the hit. Be aware though that this ability lines up with Trick Totem's main ability, which we will talk about in a second. If you are the targeted player, make sure you aren't running around all over the place so that the tank can help soak the charge for you. Tanks be aware that you'll likely need some sort of defensive cooldown to survive on Tyrannical Weeks. Trick Totem has only a couple abilities. He'll cast a basic Earth Bolt ability. Interrupt this if you can, but make sure you have an interrupt for the Greater Healing Rapids cast, which comes up every 20 seconds or so. This is the highest priority interrupt of the fight, because it'll heal the bosses, so don't miss it. Trick Totem's special is Hex Trick Totem. This comes at the same time as Decayed Senses, The Blind, and Savage Charge, from Rira. During this special combo, the healer will be hexed by the Hex Trick Totem, the tank will be blinded by Gash Tooth's Blind, and a DPS player will be getting focused by Rira. The blind on the tank is dispellable, but the healer is hexed, so the first order of business will be to kill the Hex Trick Totem as quickly as possible. Alternatively, you can remove the tank's blind with a tank immunity, or by mass dispelling it with a non-healer priest. Once you've dealt with these, position quickly to deal with Rira's charge, which will be soon after. If you manage to get through the special combination, you will return to phase 1, and the first ability cast will be Gash Tooth Frenzy. Be ready for this, as there is no reprieve, and the cast will arrive very quickly after the special combo is over. This second Gash Frenzy is quite dangerous, because the healer may still be catching up on topping off the party. Once you manage to finish off Gashtooth, be aware that the two remaining bosses will be dealing some increased damage. However, almost all of this damage is avoidable, and that's why we usually choose to kill Gashtooth first. If you found this guide helpful or have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below, and subscribe for more Season 2 content. Thanks for watching.